Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krieger. And this is Alpha Bravo. And today we're going to start off with Nova Prime. This is the Amazon slash Hasbro Pulse exclusive. It looks pretty neat. This, of course, is a redeco of the Galaxy Prime that was released at the beginning of Siege, which was a retool of Ultra Magnus. And, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, see, it looks, looks pretty good. I mean, and it's good representation of the base mode that we saw in the IDW comics. So, pretty neat. Let's bring in the Galaxy Prime so you can see the difference. And, uh, yeah, they didn't change anything. They just repainted. I mean, not even new head, no nothing. Base figure is... Oh, actually, there is a little bit right here. It's about this has, comes to more of a point where this is flat. And the side lights are different, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Everything else is the same. So, <laughs> anyway. Rah! Anyway. <laughs> and the current base figure for one of the winners is the Battlecore Optimus. The, I turned mine into Thunder Clash, so you have to use your imagination. <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit shorter because it's the new Voyager as opposed to the old Voyager. And, of course, the uh, MMC, I think, was a little bit taller than the Voyager. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't own any, any of the current winners, so we're just going to use Thunder Clash. Anyway, let's go ahead and look up, look at the uh, Powered Up mode. And here we have Nova Prime in his super mode. I went ahead and put Galaxy Prime in here, too, just so I could already have him in the shot. So... <laughs> And this is where you can see where most of the changes come in. I mean, the chest area, the head, the wings are different. Guns are the same. Uh, legs are the same. Shoulders are different. Uh, the arm guns are the same. But still, a lot to make it different. Another big difference is that my galaxy is like super loose now. Whereas, you know. That's nice and tight, so uh, let's hope it stays that way. So, <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. It, it works. My only complaint is the wings are the kind of short, and that's just because they just mold them all out of one piece. Where with like the S&D kit or the MMC, they have multiple pieces, and they're all articulated where you can get a good wingspan. But, uh, yeah, for, uh, for a bargain basement version, not too bad. All right. We'll bring in Thunder Clash again. So you can see, yeah, he kind of tops the the base Voyager now. I think this is actually the same size where the MMC winds up. Because I remember the MMC was like only half a head taller. But anyway, but not too bad. So I guess we'll go ahead and do a quick 360 so you can see all the sides of them. Like I said, pretty much the same. Like, block out the wings, that's all the same. Not too bad. Of course, this gun does come separate, and they can hold the gun separate like it could for Galaxy Optimus Prime, but mine never leaves that pylon on either of them. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go to Final Deliberation. Actually, we're going to go to a vehicle mode before Final Deliberations. So here's Nova Prime in his vehicle mode, and it looks pretty good. It looks a lot like the uh, Galaxy Prime, <laughs> which we'll go ahead and bring in the Galaxy Prime. And you see, pretty much the same. The only difference is the wings. Uh, the rest of it, I mean, the Galaxy has you know different things picked out in different colors, but uh, otherwise, besides the wings, it's the same. Get a front on view there again the side lights are the same and I looked at those basically there's just one clear plastic piece that's these three pieces that get swapped out so that's what they did on that there's this side there's the back yeah so not too many changes but still pretty neat so now let's go to final deliberation. So is this our new Nova Prime? I'm going to say conditional. <laughs> I would say I like the look of the 
other two a little bit better. A little bit grander scale, articulated wings, things like that. But if you don't have the other two, this is a very good substitute. It still looks pretty close to, to the character. A lot easier to acquire, a lot cheaper to acquire at this point. So for me, this one is my Nova Prime. But if you have the s d kit or the uh, MMC Nova Prime, stick with them. All right, let's go on the next one. And finally, we're looking at Bludgeoned. Now, this is the new Vert Legacy Bludgeon off the Tarn mold. Looks pretty good. Like the uh, transparent orange guns. Those are pretty neat. Comes with the sword, which is pretty neat also. And a new head. So, let's go ahead and bring in Tarn just so you can see the differences. And you can see, besides my Steam Shield guns here, the only change was the head. I mean, the, the guns are the same, uh, every chest is the same, everything's the same except for the head. So, yeah. So vehicle mode is not going to be charged, so I'm just going to set Tarn aside. So, yeah. Only thing new is the head. It still works for him, but uh, yeah, only the head. Alright, our current inner robot winner is the uh, TFCC. You see, this is definitely the, uh, it's still kind of a mix between inner robot and outer robot, but with the head, and I'm going to call it the outer robot. So it's in a different competition than the uh, inner robot. So we'll put the inner robot aside. So the actual comparison is the Revenge of the Fallen. You can see drastically different. So... And of course, mine I put the uh, mod mod kit on, so looks a little bit better. It does have kind of the uh, plastic problem, rubber contact issue, bleeding issues, but uh, it's still it's still a great looking toy. And I think really has the samurai you know aesthetic down. So anyway, let's look at the vehicle mode. And here we have Bludgeon in his tank mode, and it looks uh, exactly like Tarn. <laughs> uh, just can put the sword on the side there, but otherwise it's just the Tarn alt, alt mode. There's really not too much more you can say about it. So, yeah. Uh, we'll bring in the TFCC to compare, so it give you a little bit of size compare there. I really didn't want to trans transform the Revenge of the Fallen. So... That's what you get. <laughs> so yeah, not much really to it. So turns hand over, so it kind of fakes that it's hiding hands. But uh, yeah, it's just Tarn. There's no changes here. And like I said, the only changes were really the head sculpt uh, and adding the sword. But otherwise, this is all all Tarn all the time. Nothing too exciting here. So, let's go ahead and make our final decision. So, is this our new IDW bludgeon? I'm going to say no, because I still like the look of the Revenge of the Fallen better. So, if you can get it, great. If you want to avoid the rubber to the hard plastic contact issues that the, that the Revenge of the Fallen has, then yeah, go ahead and get this new one. I think this new one is a really good stand in if you can't get the revenge of the fallen or don't want the issues or just want a little bit more articulation so the winner is still revenge of the fallen but this is a good substitute if you don't have this or you don't want the issues that come with it and you don't want to mod it to look make it look idw so <laughs> that enough conditions yeah i think there is all right let's wrap this up so there we have it, the new Nova Prime and Bludgeon. I think they both look really good. They're both good substitutes if you can't get the original winners. But overall, they're both still really good toys. So thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and ring that bell. And I'll see y'all later.